Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to another episode of the Honda CM450 Cafe Racer build. So in today's episode, we're gonna be installing a brand new headlight with integrated turn signals, grips, and mirrors on, as well as wire up a new universal control switch. I'm getting super stoked on this project, so make sure you follow along on this build so you don't miss anything. Stay tuned, cheers. So I was able to mount the headlight just using the universal brackets that uh, bolt onto the forks. Now that we've got it mounted, we're gonna check the wiring. The turn signal wires for the headlight are female bullets and the turn signal wires for my wiring harness are also female bullets. So we're just going to use alligator clips for now to test the connections and then we'll come back later and install correct connectors. So I don't really trust those alligator clips. I got them from Harbor Freight and I just can't believe that I'm not getting power from the uh, turn signals on the wiring harness. So we're testing that here and as you can see, I do have power. So we know the fail in the connection was due to those alligator clips. Okay, so I got the turn signals to work by installing a new flasher relay. So I think my flasher relay was just bad and the, the other one I used wasn't compatible. So now that we know everything's working properly with the stock wiring, we're gonna install the universal control switch. So normally I would solder and heat shrink when I'm doing wiring, but these new like solder easy connectors I found have made this, these kind of jobs so much easier and I'd super recommend them if you're doing any job like this. So the plan here is to wire the universal control switch into the stock connector and that way it will just be a plug in and play. I can just plug in the new control switch into the stock connector. Okay, so now that we've got everything wired up and know that it's working properly with this new control switch, we're just going to clean it up a little bit and make it look nice. So the last thing we're going to do before mounting the control switch is install the handlebar grips in the mirror just so we know exactly where we want to place the control switch before mounting it. So one thing I do to slide on uh, motorcycle grips easily and then for it to be tacky so that it holds in place is I just use hairspray. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Stay tuned for next week's video on this Cafe Racer project. If you missed any of the previous episodes, I'll put those up on the screen. And then lastly, if I can build a bike, then so can you guys. Cheers. Uh -huh.